What about now? Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. It never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Amici, 
Could you help me out? Good evening, Gonvaloniere, to you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what evil is planned? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I sh if you'll excuse me for it. Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here so long as I am in control. You are a treasure, Uberto. I hope Lorenzo recognizes that. Yes, our great leader, Lorenzo. <clears throat> I'll see you ladies later. <laughs> ah, Uberto, there you are. I was just telling the others about the execution. I mean, no offense, but what if they did not act alone? You can rest easy, friends. I am confident that this treachery began and ended with the Auditori family. What of the other son? Ezio, was it? The child poses no danger. Soft hands and an even softer head. He'll be caught and executed before the week is out. Oh, don't let us keep you, Berto. We just wanted to say hello. Evening to you, Don Palonieri. Is everything to your satisfaction? Do you even need to ask? Of course. Accept our thanks for this evening and for helping to keep Firenze safe. I always had my doubts about the Auditore. Where did the family even come from? To gain such wealth and, and prestige in just a single generation. And the children with their odd names, always making trouble. No surprise given the company their father kept. Whores and thieves, I swear it. Indeed. It is clear now he sought to undermine the city, to overturn all we've worked so hard to build. But thanks to you, that's over now.
Yes, I would. And I have. The auditory are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Assassino! Got to get the hell out of here! Hey! Oh, Any last words for your woman? Pass! Shut up! Please, God, let me leave. Please, God! We run in all the Yeah. Okay. 